the boys and girls Gary Dean Tampa Florida working on a Tahoe right now and we just had a crazy shower in the middle of the job as usual but as you can see the, the rain shower has gone away I vacuumed out that side this video uh, is on how I deal with carpets on a vehicle that isn't crazy nasty uh, which I would I would consider a vehicle like this an average condition with exception of all the pet hair I had to remove uh, generally pets aren't in the driver area unless they're itty bitty little dogs uh, it has some pet hair but my point to this video is to show you how I deal with vacuuming uh, when I don't have to shampoo the carpet uh, and when the vehicle is in average condition typically I don't remove the mat which is what I'm trying to show you uh, removing the mats from the car takes extra time and I'm all about saving time and giving the same quality result so I'll show you how I do what I do so anyway this is the rigid portable vac five horsepower four gallon deal um, this is my modified uh, nozzle when I say not modified this is the aftermarket this is not the one it comes with but it's an accessory uh, nozzle usually the side right here is squared off I cut them and make them even so that it's smooth uh, it helps a lot when it comes to vacuuming so that's a little bit of a, a tip for you I'll turn the vacuum on and now I'm going to show you what I mean so I'll leave the mat in place and I'll just go at vacuuming the mats like normal um, I have a vacuum hose control clip like my core control clips but I never really push those I may put those back on the site but remember when you're vacuuming uh, the vehicle you don't want that hose to be rubbing up against the door jam I mean all that paint right there that can get scratched really easily by the door jam and so can the plastics so on those nicer cars you don't want any of that going down um, anyway so I'm gonna vacuum the mats with the hose with the hose between my legs and uh, Uh, most of you guys know uh, from watching the videos on my my other site um, I like to not only modify this nozzle but I like to use the right side of the tip and rub it on the ground while the other side is up in the air so I'm basically dislodging contaminants while the other side can breathe and sucks it all up so on this interior I'm doing a basic interior nothing fancy I'm not gonna be shampooing the carpets nothing but you can see I got that mat really clean so instead of pulling that mat out of the car what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull it out slightly like this so that I can get to all the places I couldn't get to with it in my way like the edges and stuff like that Make sure I get everything out. Stick it in all the slots you can you can get in. Sound kind of dirty as well. Anyway, so those edges are clean. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back. Now I do this in a far faster motion if I'm not trying to display it for you guys. I'll pull that mat just like that so it's up out of the way. Notice all that other debris in there? So now I can get to all these areas, all these cracks and crevices, and underneath here, just like that, without ever having to remove the mat from the interior. Now again, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, you didn't save me that much time. Let me tell you, you got cars lined up and they're waiting for you to get to them. 
And all these little tricks I give you, they add up. The time adds up, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't knock it till you try it. That's the problem with most of you people. You see what I'm doing? You don't love it, you don't try it, uh, and you're, you're shortchanging yourself and the customer. Um, even though it's kind of crazy when you save so much time and you get done before the customer expects that you will be or thinks that you should be, but at the same time, that same customer has other things to do as well. So the longer you're making them wait, the less convenient you are to them. So everything you could do to save time without compromising quality is exactly what I'm trying to show you to do. So if you've got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Also, check out DetailJuice.com.